Welcome back, everyone, to the Sorcerer playthrough of Elden Ring. As you know, in the last episode, we made it to the top of the mountain, where we're going to speak with the Three Fingers. Yeah, this is the Three Fingers, I think, who possessed this poor, strange-hatted guy. So he's covering his eyes. As for his flesh, he gave it to me. Should I not make a move of peace with him? I don't know if this is. I mean, I know where this leads. This leads to another ending. Uh, but that's like. That's a, it's a, it's basically the bad ending. I mean, I'm not even gonna joke around. Uh, there is just like in Demon Souls, there is actually a pretty clear bad ending in this game. Uh, it's not as ambiguous as with some of the other Souls games. There are some other endings which are a little bit more ambiguous, but there's also a clear bad one and some recolored endings <laughs> as well, pretty infamously. I forgot he does a freed. So these guys are straight up bosses uh, who are regular enemies in this area. I actually did more damage to them than in playthrough 1. That's good because that means I'm a little bit stronger. Not even HP wise but damage output wise it's just very dodgy this also feels like a Sekiro enemy uh, that's all I can say about this one very much reminiscent and I think there's multiple of them scattered throughout these ruins which are the Zamor ruins which and I think these are the Zamor knights uh, but anyways this area as you guys might very well know, uh, this is the area where on playthrough one I started to have some serious issues with this game, not like serious serious, but some issues with this game uh, because of how the difficulty picks up and everything. Uh, and I'm really curious on how things will go in a, on, with a build that is like way more powerful. Are you fucking kidding me? I straight up sekiro that shit and he still saw me. Like, don't tell me I wasn't a stealth master right there. Because I was. Oh, is it being stupid? I think it's being stupid. I mean, that's very convenient. God, that goes through everything, doesn't it? Luckily, advantage of, I think, having intelligence does increase your frost resist and all. All of your resistances, as far as I know, so we got that going for us. This is very resource intensive, though. Oh, speaking of this magic spell that I'm using, I haven't been to the inverted tower just yet. Oh, come on. That was a bit BS. I'm gonna have to haul back, haul ass back to the side of Grace here. God, these things have a lot of HP. 3,000, like 3,200, and I damaged him already with like my other attacks. But now I'm curious, again, the fact that I can even clear this uh, is improvement over the last time I was here. And I'm curious if this leads to anything. Whoa. Don't ask me how I avoided that. Oh shit. No, he doesn't stun for long. See, that's the issue here, boys. I feel like it's just gonna lead to some treasure. And I'm gonna be very disappointed. Somehow they're... 
attacks keep going over my head. Fuck. Well, I don't think I want to fight these things again. Fight through these things. I saw the treasure, so I'm just gonna like gallop in here and pick it up. In fact, we can take the super C. Oh shit. Hold on. All right, that just threw me. There is actually stuff here. Hold on. This is what I wanted. Zamor. Oh, it's actually a spell. Hey, hey. Zamor Ice Storm. I think I know what this is. But let's check this out. This is more like it. This is gonna teleport me somewhere, I swear. It's not. Oh, it's the Minor Bell Ring. Three. I didn't know this was here. Cool, well, that is, it. this all, this little adventure turned out perfectly. Um, I didn't know none of this shit was here, and hey. I got what I wanted. I did not know there was a talk to Melina here. There is something I'd like to say. Well, she, this is where she goes, like, all emo on us. Cool. And the big mystery is still who her mother is. Uh, you know, most people still say it's um, Merica. Or the Glomite. No, she's the Glomite Queen, isn't she? As far as I know. Anyways, let's get going here. So anyways, what I'm going to be doing here is... Getting... St Oh yeah, and one thing I realized before we move on, I was about to move on, but I totally just realized that I didn't actually pick up my runes, and I like 44k on there, so I would rather not lose that. It's fairly easy to horse around these guys and ignore them. I don't think I've been down here. It just all leads to the same place. So anyways, what I was going to say is let's just get a move on. We'll kill a couple of more birds. And then I don't even know what the next, like, big point of interest is. Ah, oh, don't use your cerulean. God. Being on the wrong flask sucks. God, these things are so annoying. Luckily I have magic, wrong magic, come on, there you go. That's the thing about picking up a lot of spells and having a lot of spell slots. It's a little bit um, difficult to manage things sometimes. I totally forgot to show Zamor Ice Storm, didn't I? Uh, yeah, I had to do a little cut there because <clears throat> my grocery delivery just arrived, so had to pick that up and I kind of lost my train of thought in the meantime it's all good I think you'll survive a couple of more minutes without seeing glintstone comet shard actually this works fine too fuck these things deal so much damage I mean there's no point in even pointing it out right at this point it's pretty much the go-to at this point in Elden Ring. Uh, everything deals a metric ass load of damage. Luckily. Oh, come on. Oh, shit. There wouldn't be any worse way to die here than fucking falling off. Yeah, and these guys. These guys are quite something. I don't even think I managed to kill them the first time around. Yeah, I think I gave up the knight on the big guy with the... Well, the smo. I don't know what else to call him, he's just the smo. Bad clone too. Oh. I was just about to say, is that gonna happen? And it did happen. Hold on. 
let me like prime myself here somehow. Cool. You didn't notice anything. Pop this. And hit this bitch with the Loretta's. Fully charged too. Oh, that is a lot of HP. That is so much HP. Holy actual hell. He's spewing. I think he's dead, isn't he? Yeah. Man, that was... That was kind of insane. Yeah, I killed your boss, didn't I? And I know there's a dungeon here. Briars of Punishment. This is a magic spell, isn't it? It's not a incantation as far as I know this area looks really cool though I I do like the visuals again this is probably visuals wise it this is a really good ice area um, again I am a bit of a sucker for the the sunny ice areas Unlike fucking... Well, Elaeum Lois was sunny like this too. But not the frigid outskirts. God, that that is... Whoever was smoking whatever when they came up with this... With the frigid outskirts. First of all, I would like some of it. But then again... Oh my god, the damage. Is, did Torrent just straight up die? No, he did not. Well, he's about to. Yeah, feed him them berries. So where was I? Oh yeah. This bitch. So yeah, luckily this isn't frigid outskirts level, but... Yeah. Is that even gonna work? It's not. Normally they're pretty good about having, like setting the, uh, the AI of this thing to fall the correct way. You can almost always reach the, the chest area for the critical. Alright. Where is... oh, hold on. I almost never kill these things. Hey, hey! Do I need that? I don't think so. It'll be useful for later. I could have sworn there was already a side of grace here. Oh, there it is. Man, I was worried for a fraction of a second. So I kind of showed this area, you know, uh, this initial part. I did wanna, ooh, okay. That's 40. I want the 40. I wanted to sort of see how much more powerful I am, which is, I'm significantly more powerful on this build, aside from the HP stuff than on playthrough one. So I think we can just move on. The I think the next thing to do here is we could just beeline it. That's pretty cool. I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that. I totally forgot that I started this quest line. I'm gonna be honest with you people. Um, if she hadn't popped up, I would have like straight up 
blown past this. I do know where Castle Soul is. It's one of those places. I hit the the side of grace on my first playthrough and I just never came back. I said I would come back to it and I just never did. All right, another interruption, another pause. I don't know what's going on today. It's Friday. It's Friday afternoon. Uh, things should be calm. I got the groceries. I got another call from a separate thing. Whatever. Sometimes it's just going to be like that. Anyways, what I wanted to say is, holy hell, are these two sides of grace close together? But why, though? I'm gonna try heading to Castle Soul. That's gonna be like the the main place we're gonna try and take a look at. Cause like I said, I was gonna go there on playthrough one and then I kinda just forgot about it as I was getting to the end game. Holy hell do things have a lot of HP here. Same with damage. Okay, I'm I'm not gonna let this thing revive. Oh, I wasn't watching my HP. I was concentrating so hard on getting that thing to permadie. That's why they have sides of grace so close together. Now I kinda understand, yeah, there's the this thing. I completely missed this thing the first time, I think. Another one of those towers should be good. Yeah, and we need to like head that way. And right, let's do this. So anyways, despite what it might seem like, this place is actually going fairly well. I mean, I'm having an easier time here than on my previous playthrough. I swear, if DLC ever comes out for this game, which I think is almost a guarantee, I am 100% playing it with this build, because holy shit. Souls DLC always tends to be very difficult, and Elden Ring is very difficult as is. So yeah, I think I'll be sort of justified in using my strongest build. This game pretty much encourages you to. Although recently there was a thing, wasn't uh, Rivers of Blood nerfed finally? Pretty sure it was. And there is a little secret here. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. I looked this up. Yeah, they pulled this bullshit again. And I think... Okay, actually, I'm not sure now. Hold on, turn around. Go back a little bit. Is there an open? Is is that an opening there? I'm gonna. I'm so gonna fucking die. Because I don't think that. Or is there an illusory wall? Oh come on! I'm so dead. <sighs> oh, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Hold on. This is. This is some Skyrim horse. No! That was some Skyrim horse territory right there. Damn! How do you get in though? Because I knew about this, but how do you get in? There's actually no way my... <laughs> my runes are stuck there. Seriously? Oh, fuck. Alright. So, there is actually a door there, but why do I... All right, we gotta like figure this out somehow because I kind of don't want to die again. I feel like it's gonna happen. Cause there's no chance in hell I'm making this jump again. I made the jump. Oh, come on, Skyrim this shit. That's so... There's no way you're actually meant to do this, um, like this. Oh! I'm gonna have to look this up. 
Okay, so my knowledge was correct. However, execution-wise, less so. Uh, you do need to hit up the other end of this, so where it's sort of like hints at the puzzle for you. Yeah, you need to hit that part before um, attempting this because there's like a little other path which you need to take and I believe it only unlocks like the way to see it only unlocks once you actually hit up the the front side which is not too big of an issue because we can just go and do that I'm gonna go and do that and then yeah we can backtrack all the way here this thing right here this fucking earth tree avatar or whatever uh, it is an earth tree avatar I'm so not sure I want to fight it let me just check how much damage I deal not a lot if I'm gonna be honest with you this is the one that splits into two and is really annoying because it deals a metric fuck ton of damage as shown right here yeah when this thing splits into two it just becomes a nightmare to deal with just do he just did it super early And the gimmick is the other one doesn't take damage. Actually, he started taking more. A bit more damage now. I'll take... Look at that invincibility. I got it. I got this. Thank fuck for Glintstone Comet Shard. That is a useful ass spell. So that was easy money, that's all I can say. Oh, is that far away? Wait, hold on. Oh shit, it's not from this side. Why did I think it was from, okay, never mind. We're gonna have to delay the, I think it's called the Heretics Rise. That's gonna have to be slightly delayed because I thought you accessed it from here. But it turns out you do not. Alright, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna backtrack, because we might as well head to Castle Soul then. Okay, so... Technically, I would be very stupid to risk this. Oh yeah, and there's a stupid Tibia Mariner here as well. Hell yeah, there is. like being stupid somewhere around here I mean I try finding it I remember it was like on a weird cliff or something oh there he is oh please tell me that doesn't kill you almost he just has so much HP I mean, this is not a difficult enemy, it's just... The... Fucking hell. That, he has to have like a good... 10k. Nah, not 10k. But damn. Health and steeple, death root. Cool. And the death right bird should show up somewhere around here. That was for 4k runes. Quite a quite an achievement. That's where you release the jellyfish spirit thing on the other side. I might as well do that too. Yeah, down there, that's where the death bird spawns. Man, do I not want to deal with that death bird. I literally couldn't kill him. 
on playthrough one. Am I in the right place? I'm getting so confused. Yes, yes, this is the one. I'm just coming here because if I remember correctly, there is a side of grace here. Which would be very, very, very convenient. Plus, this is a fairly interesting quest line. All right, how do you do this? You equip it. Yep. This better not cost any MP. Oh, you still charge the MP? Unbelievable. Cool story, bruh. And for all of that, we get a fancy spin. Spin to win. How am I doing on time, by the way? It's getting up there. Although I do have some to cut out. Primal Glintstone Blade. What does this do? Oh, it's a goddamn talisman. Okay. Spells consume less H FP, but maximum HP is reduced. <sighs> um... Um, but how much reduction? Oh, that's it? Wait, what's my thing? I can, I can check it by removing it. I mean, that is not a lot. I'm gonna be honest with you. Spells consume less FP. And yeah, like, what's the less FP? Okay, let me... We're, we're gonna do some science here. I have 45 FP. Now I have 36. I remove this. And now I have 24. Okay. We'll rock it for a little bit. But I, I actually am running out of time. Why did I think that was a side of grace here? Which there isn't. Anyways. I feel like despite, not despite, but I wanted to get to at least the ritual bird. Ah, you know what? Screw it. We're getting to the ritual bird. We can have a longer episode. I don't even care. I'm not like gonna, like, gonna hold you out like this. And there's a merchant check down there. And not give you a satisfying conclusion even though again 75k actually you're gonna have to hold out on that a little bit because 75 is a lot that is i don't want to lose it territory I mean, we're slowly creeping up we're slowly creeping up to that 60 something all right, let's see this bird. All right. Should be right around here. Yep. This thing, if I remember correctly, was a bit of a nightmare. Holy shit, do you have a lot of HP or what? Oh my fucking god. The main issue I had with this thing, though, was definitely the camera. Whoa! Bruh, what the hell? Jesus, okay, well, this certainly is very difficult. Do you see how much damage I was dealing? Like, nothing. All right, we saw the bird. Um, This thing must give like a ton of souls. 
Like that that this has to. This thing looks like a nightmare to deal with. Not sure if this is any easier on torrent. It can fly too. And the problem is because it's like so nimble. It and the target is so small. It's like stupid bitch ass head. So the other issue is that you gotta go for the head because then you you deal even less damage if you don't. Fuck. Ah, the, yeah, the, the camera is a nightmare on this fight. It's an absolute nightmare. Like, what the hell? It just cannot keep up with an enemy that is this mobile. That can like... Nothing personnel kid teleport behind you in an instant. Interesting is what I'll call this fight. Uh, this is an interesting battle they're putting you up at. It has so much HP too. Fuck, are you kidding me? That was like actually 80% of my life. The solution here might be uh, if I can hit him with it, Rock Sling. Because I'm thinking if I can... Ah, that's just the damage. Yeah, this, this boss is insane. I don't know what they were smoking when they came up with this thing. And there is like supposed to be easier versions of this thing, but they're not any easier. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here uh, for this episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Elden Ring. We're gonna have some times. This is certainly one of the games of all time. Well, <laughs> it's certainly one of the bosses of all time. This Death Ride Bird. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll try this thing off screen a couple of times. Recording, but off screen. And then, yeah, I'll let you know the conclusion. Fuck, that's so ridiculous. Alright, if you did like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and catch you next time. Goodbye.